Using the affected objects input is a great way to limit the effects of some post effects to only apply to specific geometry nodes. If I take this glow node, for example, when I apply it to the root, it'll apply to the whole scene. If I wanted to limit the area that it was applying to, the first and most obvious way is to increase the threshold but it's still going to apply to certain areas of the scene because the threshold is just based off of brightness in the scene. So any other bright surfaces are still going to get glow. If I want to limit it to only certain objects, I can select both of these um, shapes here, take the output and connect it to the affected objects input. We can see it comes up red and that's because there's still some more steps we need to take. We need to enable apply to opaque objects only. And then as this helpful reminder tells us, we need to make sure that deferred rendering is enabled. Now we just need to adjust the settings a little bit so that they match what we had before.